Yo! Video games. Have you ever heard of this game? Uh, let's find Medican, out. Medican, thank you. I mean, this is a Capcom game. I probably have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have not seen this fucking game right. before. All right. Probably, oh, you're probably gonna okay, recognize okay, this mind. guy. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. This is uh, this is Jin's actual game, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. Akuma's in this game. Is he? It's a giant mech. Oh, he's a mech. Okay. Yeah. Akuma is a Who giant Who controls mech. Akuma? No, no, no. Akuma is the mech. He has no pilot. He's he no is pilot. a giant robot. Yeah. Oh, of course. Of yeah. course. Holy shit. Akuma, giant mech. Fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Bloodya! Oh, I'd recommend Kenny. picking Jin. And look at this guy. Oh, this is Kenny. Kenny, Kenny is not here to play his own character. No, he's not. He is not here. Look at that. Oh. oh there's, she, there's, she looks where, totally... there's where Devil Lock came from, from Marvel 1. Devil Lock came from Marvel 1? Oh, 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 shit! Devil Lock's that girl that explodes and is yeah. unblockable yeah. in Marvel 1. Oh, okay, okay, that's what that's from. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Alright, well, I gotta go with Ryu. Not Ryu, that's Jin. It's Ryu. Lodia. Alright, Lodia. Okay, all that's it. Bloodya! That's your Ryu. Yeah, that's Ryu. There you go. That's Ryu and his Ken robot. So you can pick the character and then you can pick any robot for that character. Someone. That's kinda cool. There's no American version for this, huh? No. This game never, oh, God, came, this out. Game never came out anywhere but Japan. Damn. So what we had Marvel, to deal with when we were when younger. Marvel One came out, we had no idea who Jin was. Was yeah. <laughs> Lips are moving. Hello, is that the Borg? The fucking Borg. Who remembers? I that? understand everything. There is an English U.S. arcade version? Really? You an know what, you're right, version. because Cyberbots is actually in English on PlayStation. Weird. It was only in the arcade, though, so... Weird. Uh... So it slips with 60 frames. I would love to see if, uh... This shit. I would love to see if, if Galloping Ghost possibly has this game. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is a straight up Street Fighter shit. Yeah. Capcom. I'm not sure you can. Okay, we got back dashes. There you go. Wow, that is sick. Really? Was that a 4 hit combo? Oh, we got power ups. Wow. I did a sure you can. That's a grab. Oh, he ripped your shit off. Yeah. yeah. Take your piece. Oh, you can. Super, he just activated. Oh, you can. Was that a target combo? Oh, target combo. Phase two. This is round two. Yeah, right. Surprised they didn't uh, skin and catch on in America's. We're, Americas aren't very. We don't really give a shit about uh, Max. Not as much. Super combo. Chip damage. Oh, fuck you. That's his hurricane kick. Wow. Damn, Target 3D, destroyed. And 3D uh, titles. Skate pod thing there. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna smash that shit. Cool. Yeah, that's actually pretty, uh, pretty dope. Proceed. Mm. 12 hit yeah. combo. Giant robot. I it feels very, very nostalgic for a game that I've never robot. played before. We dig giant robot chicks. Dig giant robots. What's that? Really? Nope. Damn. Chat will tell me. Chat, where is that song from? You don't know. You don't deserve to know. Oh. Evangelion. Max doesn't even know, Simmons, come on! It's American Evangelion, aka yeah. Megas XLR. 
Vegas SLR. I, was, I call it American Evangelion. Yeah. I don't think I've watched any Gundam animes in my lifetime. The closest I've been is Power Rangers. Or, oh, Voltron. Is Voltron? Uh, Voltron, Voltron, Voltron is Power Rangers. Yeah. Before well, Voltron, Power Rangers is Power Rangers. Yeah. Well, some people say Power Rangers came out before Voltron, but... No. <laughs> no, Voltron... We're talking about the Japanese. Voltron's been around since the fucking 70s. Yeah, we're talking about the Japanese yes. uh, Power Rangers. Power like, Rangers were around in like the late 80s, early 90s, when it was turned into Power Rangers before it wasn't Power Rangers. Before it was Power Rangers. It, was, it wasn't called Power Rangers. Yeah, it was like Power Rangers in like the 80s, but like Voltron predates it. The Voltron is like late 70s. Hey, come on. Dun, 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 and it is essentially dun, the same thing. But one was in space though. There was space. What about the Japanese Power Rangers? When were they come out? Because they came out way before the American yeah, ones like came 80s. out. Yeah, They are 80s, okay. I'm not- Was Any... Power Rangers called Super Sentai? I thought it was Super Hentai, wasn't it? It was called Super Sentai. Sentai. No, no. Well, I Hentai. mean, the, the footage of the thing that we took that was Power Rangers- Yeah, it was not- Was over... from the 80s, even though it was aired out here in the 90s, I yeah. think. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, like, the, the genre itself predates that, that... Like, the episodes we were wa people were watching in the first season of Power Rangers and stuff, like, that footage was from the 80s or the 70s? I think it's from the 80s, honestly, I think. The one, like, season one of our Power Rangers. Yeah, that's when it came in, 91, but that was the American version. We're talking about... The Japanese Power Rangers, which is the original Power Rangers. I find it crazy that they would be well, using... Our Power Rangers didn't start airing until like 90. I find it crazy that they were using footage from the 70s in a show that came out in the 90s. Power Ranger footage is 91. Well, there you go. There you go. Because we didn't start We're not talking about the series, we're talking about the Power Ranger, like, show. Like, yeah. Where did that footage, where did that footage come from? That was from the ZU Rangers. Was 1992-ish. Yeah, Zero Zero Rangers, or whatever. Yeah, our Power Rangers took footage from something that was older, not that old, not 70s old. Uh, yeah, 90 shows. 90s well, they actually footage. aired at the same time. Yeah. Well, they started to. They got to that point, but not not this not the first season. Basically, though, because what it was in Japan was they would constantly, like every season, they would change the costume. Right. So or, or the mech, right? We when we did it, we were like, Behind. "Wait, what? Yeah. No, we're not gonna change. Why would we change the characters immediately after the first season?" So yeah. as like a young, young, young kid uh, at like the 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 video store, I remember watching Turbo Man, and I fucking loved it, dude. Turbo I Man. loved it. It was dubbed and shit, and it was Turbo Man. I, I, Isn't that Jingle All the Way? No, oh no, I don't know if it was Turbo Man. Chat, you know what I'm talking about. Ultraman? It's Ultraman, yeah. Oh, there Ul you go, Ultraman. Ultraman. This man Turbo Man. <laughs> was my fucking jam as a kid, dude. I loved that shit. Ultraman. Ultraman pretty cheesy. The funny thing was, there's a really shitty uh, launch era game from the SNES in America. That was it was great, game. man. It was crap. It was, and that was crap. What the fuck is he doing? Hmm? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck kind of move that was. Look at that. The SNES Ultimate game, though, is apparently... You could probably play it today, but... Oh, anyway. I heard it's oh. by... Uh, Damn, he was using that laser, sky laser. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Or she was. Unit damage. Fuck Ultraman. I was all about that uh, uh, Guyver life. I don't know what year that game shit came out, but man, the 80s. that was the eighties. Sentai wiki for you. Back when you were in your fifties. Yep. <laughs> Those are facts. <laughs> It's a game. Back. You know, back when I was in my 40s, when kids would put LSD in my coffee in the 60s. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking along the lines of like, like that's a theory, a game theory. Back in the day, we were like, that's a fact, 
A game facts. <laughs> game facts. Yeah, Gavin was a shit, man. And then they ruined it with the movie. But, you know, at least we got to see... Oh my uh, god, did you hear what Monolith is Skywalker doing? Play a character. Uh, so the Dark, the Dark Souls game, right? Yeah. yeah it's gonna, nice. guess what? Dark Souls Fantasy. And? And what? What, what else? Mechs. Oh, so they're making Escaflone. Yes! <laughs> Jesus, I think I'd be a lot more interested than the goddamn anime schlock they've been well, making for well, the past the decade. Thing, they're looking for a different character designer too. Oh, good. So, which is which is good because you know I you know what you know what to make me immediately more interested in anything Monolith Soth is doing is to drop the goddamn Zeno <laughs> character designer, dude. Holy <laughs> shit! They actually change it every game. Oh, like, it's hard. To, well, yeah, I can tell it gets worse. Yeah. Every single game Generally has gotten speaking, worse. Generally speaking, well, no, I would say Blade 2 is better. It's just that they went with a guy whose style is so... Anime. Anime. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah someone did a lot of digging around on their website last year. It's kind of crazy to put, year. like, an Ultraman uh, marathon on Twitch. Shit, Escaflona. Yeah, well, it'll be, like, a probably a very big world. More open world style, but yeah, they're wow. they basically said they don't want to do another game like with the same kind of entire look hello. Entire. Wow, okay. Well, yeah, this guy's reading my inputs now. It's with every game since I mean, okay, look, to be fucking fair, even fucking Xenogears 1 was hella fucking anime. It was. But it was back when anime was more accepted. <laughs> well, from you. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. it's one thing to be like, I don't like the designs. It's one thing to say, like, well, the designs were better than the other. No, they fucking weren't. They look like trash in all of them, like, in the Xeno Saga games, too. Yeah, the, the only one, the only other Xeno game outside of Xeno Gears where, like, the anime style was more approachable was Xeno Blade. Yeah, one. Yeah, Xeno Blade one. And that art style was, I'd say, more akin to Final Fantasy XII than anything. Yeah, like it, it was very twelve. Kind of like Final Fantasy twelve-ish. Yeah, but uh, yeah, first Xeno Gears is hell anime. Yeah, but that's when there wasn't a lot of anime out there, so it was yeah. easier to absorb. Yeah, it's just kind of crazy though. I mean, oh, I, they show the concept go. art they already have, and it doesn't look fucking anything like their their other games too, which is good. Changing it up and that shit. But when they, when someone's digging around, it's like they want this game to have a Western appeal design, medieval fantasy setting, and have mechs. Sounds great. I'm like, uh huh? <laughs> that sound that sounds amazing. I'm like, so Western. There's, there's, there's not many. There's not. I mean, funny enough, I don't. I think there are some out there, uh, and I remember seeing some on DVD covers. But there's not a lot of shows that ended up mimicking Escaflone. Like Escaflone was kind of was kind of unique. No, because guess what? Apparently, it wasn't like a huge hit over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it had like a Western style, like fantasy setting and shit. Yeah, apparently that was why like the movie had a more Eastern look to a lot of the stuff. Fuck! Who's gonna beat him? There you go. Wow. Yeah, there's a medieval anime. It's called um, Lotus War. Record of Lotus War. But that doesn't have mechs in it. No, that is like straight D and D. But it, yeah, it is. It is <laughs> Japanese D and D. Did you see that someone's making? They're making a game for Lotus War that's like Symphony of the Night quality sprites. Some Dreamcast game. No, 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 not that's new. It's not out yet. But they're working on it right now. It's it's a it's a straight up Symphony of the Night clone with like super good two D sprite animation. Wait, wait, I think he's speaking in English. Damn it! This is talking about. Damn it! I think that was the only character who was talking in English. Everyone else is gonna say something in Japanese. Lotus War is great. I've never seen it. It's it's good. I just it's know like, of it. You know, it's like 80s and 90s ish anime. Why is she crying? They always have a fucking trophy car uh, character. <laughs> apparently, I love. Everyone's saying Lotus War was literally a D and D campaign that someone turned into a show. Yeah, I apparently. heard something like that. Yeah, that's cool. Lotus War's great. It's just fucking anime like Lord of the Rings or yeah. I wanna charge up too. Ryan. Zap. 
A Curisinfinitum. Curisinfinitum. K infinity. Thank you. Infinitum. Eric Infinitum. Hey, K Infinity. Thanks, man. If there was a Final Fantasy VII anime, would you watch it? Are you shitting me, Christy? You mean the Final Fantasy VII anime that exists? <laughs> and is really not good? It's not that good. There's actually several animes. I remember you, back, FF7. back in your in your fucking weeb days, even you said the first Vampire Hunter D was kind of boring. Yes, it is pretty boring. It's got a great art style, but it's uh, kind it's like of boring. It's boring, but Bloodlust, on the other hand, is fucking great. Had a great art style, great, good action. It was what Castlevania movie wishes it was. It existed. I was just about to say. Oh, Although I've, I've seen, I've, I've read the script for the Paul Anderson. It's terrible. <laughs> no, I don't think Last Order was good. I didn't, I didn't like the re envisioning they had of that that moment. Thought it was okay at best. Target destroyed. Bloodless was my jam. Bloodless was. Wait. Not not talking about Advent Children, talking about the actual Crisis Core like anime. Yeah, well, it was like the dumb kid or whatever. What Final uh, Fantasy anime did you see? It, it's the one. It's the one about Zack and Sephiroth. Oh yeah, there's that one. That so one's so I heard that one sucked. It's not that great. One Final Fantasy anime I saw was the 3D one. That's so much better when you watch it raw without subtitles. <laughs> the CGI one? Yeah. Hmm. Oh my God, it was way better. When I heard, when I knew what they were saying, it was like, oh. Yeah. It's kind of hard to like Advent Children unless you're like a big ass fan of FF7. Oh. <laughs> what just happened? I'm all super happy now. Is that Devil Lock? Yes. It is Devil Lock. I hate her voice so much. But Why are those guys so close to her face? Oh, crammed into that robot. Yeah, they're all like smashed in. I was like, what the fuck? Those guys, those guys are dilly dally shilly shally. Dilly dally shilly shally. <laughs> or you, or we could be all weave and go zuda 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 zuda. End it now. Zuda 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 zuda. End, zuda. end it now. <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> they just made Tifa boring, and they just made Cloud. How do you do that? Boring. Emo. <laughs> I don't know. They must have worked really hard. <laughs> we want to take all the character away from Tifa and Cloud, so we'll do that in Advent Children. At least Barrett still has like a personality, and at least like he was sad, Max. He I don't was very, know. Very sad. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I I feel that was kind of like a little bit of a betrayal of the story of the game. And like, it is. That's what that's like, what kind of sucks about Diamond Children. He was. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm sure he wasn't happy about Iris' death, but he was. He had come to terms with it by the end of fucking seven. For God's sake. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, this fight is weird, but it's fun to look at. Yeah. Like, the fight is very odd. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Cloud just got. Cloud kind of got then. character stereotyped, and so did Tifa in that movie. Everyone else kind of remained faithful. Yuffie remained faithful. Sid remained yeah, faithful. They weren't really in it much, though. They weren't in it much. Barrett remained faithful. Vincent remained faithful. The Turks were actually the best part. Yeah, like, Reno and, and Rude became like the weird of like focus of it. Yeah, like, like they were. I was like, why? Is but for it, some reason, why is these guys Cloud and Tifa don't really act like they do in the game at all. Don't forget, Seth Ross is pretty faithful. Yeah. Yeah, Seth Ross is faithful. Yeah. He acts like an evil asshole. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, well, here's the thing. Here, yeah, here's the funny thing. Is that, yeah, Cloud did have a reason for acting that way in the movie because he literally had PTSD and he was dying. But the problem is, is that in all the fiction beyond that, he still acts the same. Like, he still acts like a mopey shithead in everything and in every... And in every depiction of Cloud since then, he had his he had his moment of grief and like in shittiness and in seven and then yeah and then he over literally he overcomes it. it like the so whole, the whole fucking thing of seven where Tiva has to go into his psyche and all that shit like just it's, yeah it's almost like that shit didn't happen yeah Cloud literally has his like moment of like I'm worthless and 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 pathetic I couldn't save her in. And FF7, and, ha and that's a big key part of the story to overcome that to go kick ass, and he does. Yeah. So, why repeat it again? Oh, I took an L on this one. Shit. 
Mission terminated. There's a squid body. Don't feel too bad. All right. Like, fuck, I didn't know what that was going on. 19! Definitely in there. Well, I mean, that's the idea, is that Claude's personality is a mishmash of all this shit that he doesn't know what he is, which makes him interesting. He's not a mopey, personality -less, like, oh, I'm fucked up. <laughs> He's fucking strong, sad, and that of children. I'm sad that I'm, I'm good at fighting <laughs> with swords. I'm sad that I have a cool bike. Hmm, yeah. They, well, did they give him the bike after fucking Final Yeah, Fantasy? yeah, he got it. He was part of the movie. It's probably the movie of the game. His bike. He doesn't have a bike in the game. Oh. Okay. I mean, he has a bike when he escapes Midgar, but that's it. Oh, okay. He just steals it. Then he leaves it. And you can get out. Like, 90 hours before the ending of that game. Like, Cloud's, Cloud's personality in FF7, Bola, thank you. Up until the point you leave Midgar and go to Calm is, I want my money. <laughs> like, <laughs> His fucking personality is that's nice. I oh, love, perfect, I love my boys! Bike. And then he leaves Midgar, and things get all important. And then he realizes, oh shit, uh, this is there's some shit going down. I gotta tell you all about it. We better do something about it before the world dies. Let's go cross this ocean. So it's just fucking woof. What was that movie now, dude? Old man. Uh, weird, 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 dumb like that or more. Was it a commercial success? Oh yeah, I bet oh, you yeah. made a lot of money. Yeah, oh, sure. It was like the best-selling movie in Japan, like uh, DVD launch of all time when it Damn. came out. Yeah, FF7 is very big in Japan. Like when, whenever like big magazines would, would ask like what game do they want, it would be FF7 remake at the top of every list. FF7 remake and Dragon Quest games, like on the top of everything. Yo, Ryu Kang, thank you, dude. Played Blood Omen, yeah, like 20 years ago. <laughs> I heard the loading times are ass. Oh, that game has a lot of loading. I mean, everyone, the only reason everyone liked it is because to get life, you would suck people's blood. Ah. Oh. It was edgy, and people loved it. You'd be a, you're a bad guy. And you're a bad guy, yeah, you're a bad vampire. That's yeah, why being a bad some people liked Did it. Did you see the fucking new Tomb Raider trailer? No, I don't care. Yeah. You know what, it's, it's, it's like... It's almost like screenshots. it's going in the opposite direction of God of War. Like, Where she's just a murdering she's, hellhound? Like, she's just like, they're embracing her as like this completely murderous... Psychopath? Like, psychopath. In the new game, I'm like, it kind of feels like we're going like opposite directions here. Like, oh, super dark and green. She's just like, murder. No! Fucking that hell, man! Close. That was close. Dude, you see the chip damage I was delivering? Yeah. I was, I was trying to get my super up. Fuck. I was trying to get my super up. I mean, up. it, it oh, almost man. makes sense after that fucking reboot where she, where she ends, up, ends up killing 50 million people on that island. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I guess turning her into a mass murderer is actually the most logical sense after this, but I'm kind of like, do I, am I interested? Nope. Yeah, the funny thing is, they were always able to ground Drake, other than the fact that he was a genocidal maniac. <laughs> yes, technically. Technically, he just kills everyone Drake? on wherever he goes. Nathan Drake. I prefer Cloud. <laughs> Nathan, uh, Drake, uh, Nathan uh, yeah. Drake murders so many fucking but people. But they were bad people. You remember what... Give it to an old bad. Yes, yeah, but they were old you remember, bad. You remember what he said? Yeah, I, I get it, I get it. Bad. But Nathan Drake bad. at least finds a way to ground himself and still feel like a human character. Yeah. Laura Croft she starts going just, does cat. never feel like a human in Tomb Raider right. games. She just kills and finds more creative ways to kill. And search tombs, don't forget that. It, it's search funny tombs. how much of it's just becoming like Laura's turning into a dark psychopath. I'm like, well, I, you know what? What smaller tits, don't I guess, that. I guess good on you, well, you you care about that, yeah. I don't. Uh, <laughs> That's what the game was iconic for, Simmons. Sure, but it doesn't mean I care about it. Yeah, well you don't have to care about it, you just have to acknowledge it. I acknowledge it was it was cheesy and dated. Yes, it was. The guy's called Jaded. Yeah. What did you do with this tit? 
They were huge, Simmons. They were huge. Well, a lot of that was from fucking people making it. And they were sharp. They were like fucking torpedoes. Sharp. Yeah. I mean, it's all good you looking at 15 polygons. Yeah, right. <laughs> The better graphics got, the dumber it was going to look. They kept using, using that. Using its hits, yeah. Kept using that original Tomb Raider, especially when she like pan stand flips up every ledge. It's kind of like, okay, this is just gonna look dumber and dumber, like you know, the, the closer you get to reality. Well, I mean, with fucking Ivy, her tits got bigger as she got like older. Or, like, she's just, like, it's just Ivy and Soul Calibur. Yeah. Like, she, she isn't doing like crazy acrobatic shit like fucking Laura. I though. mean. It's all magical shit phase two with Ivy. Like, well, Ivy's Ivy. Like, Laura Croft's supposed to be a athletic, you know, mountain climber kind of person. Yeah. Her having big, giant gazongas. <laughs> like, the more realistic graphics get, we're going to just... Pyramid like, this boobs. This is just going to look stupid. She had pyramid boobs. Yeah. I'm sure you could... Make, oh, my gosh. She got fucked up. Look at the guys next to her. Jeez. What <laughs> More, better, and better. I mean, here's the thing. If they just wanted to make a TNA game, go for it. But if you're going to sit there and try to be like, we're trying to make what, what was trying to be too, uh, uh, Uncharted when Uncharted became, it's just going to look silly. Yeah. Yeah. Laura, Street Fighter 5, anybody? 